Hi, I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel, Beauty in a Minute. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like my video today, please kindly give me the thumbs up. Today, I want to recommend to you one of my favorite primer. And that is by the brand Hourglass. Hourglass is more on the slightly high end, higher end of um, makeup products. I find the products really high quality, though you do have to pay another $20 more. Hourglass is available at Mecca stores here in New Zealand and Australia. The number of products that I have owned from them, I really, really like them. And there is just that slightly higher quality about the products. Hourglass is an American brand, so all the makeup products are made in USA. So this is the primer that I've been using and I really, really love. All the Hourglass packaging is this dark brown color, so you can't miss them when you walk into Mecca. And this is glass jar and this is the primer. This is a beautiful primer and I love it very, very much. And that's why I want to do this video to recommend to you today. So personally, I like using a primer and I find that the primer just absorbed my foundation and my foundation just sort of plastered. I used the word plastered to my wall a lot better. I find that when I'm doing makeup, my face is like a wall. You know how people paint the wall? That they sand it down a bit like exfoliating and then the and then they put a base, you know, a bit like a moisturizer, and then they put a primer before they put the final paint on top. So each time I do my makeup, I feel like I'm painting the wall in my house, you know. So I do like using primers. I just find that it just grab my foundation so much better. This is 30 mils. It's a nice palm jar. I really like this. So there it is. It's a very, very soft serum. You can call this serum. I mean, it's a primer. Um, being a mature lady, I find that my skin is on the dry side. I find that as I get older, I want my makeup to be more moisturizing. I want my makeup to have more of a shiny and almost oily base because then it adds a bit of moisture and hydration to my skin. I find there's a huge difference in applying makeup for myself right now at a mature age than when I was younger. When I was in my 20s, I want my makeup to be more on the matte side because my skin is a lot more oily. So there is a huge difference with applying makeup and makeup base for someone with different age according to the age group. So depending which age group you are in, to me, is what makeup and makeup base you need to use. I find this very moisturizing. It's not too drying too matte. I don't like a matte one. I have used the Urban Decay primer. I, I find it too drying for me, too matte for me. Uh, I mean, I have used Smashbox, NARS, Urban Decay, L'Oreal, quite a lot of different brands, but I really like this for my age group, for my mature skin. So it dries up really nicely without being too drying or too matte. And it gives such a nice soft and yet very moisturized base for my foundation. That's what I like about this primer. So if you have mature skin like me, middle age, um, and you wanted something a bit less drying, less matte, but something that gives you a little bit more glow, more dewy and hydrated look, definitely go for this Hourglass Primer. It's not the cheapest. This primer is oil-free and it's mineral black base. It's got an SPF 15. I'm not so worried about the SPF because SPF 15 is almost nothing, you know. Yeah, I'm not so worried about this sort of SPF in, in cosmetics. But I'm more concerned about the texture and how it feels on my skin. For 30 mils, this is $95. So it's not cheap. It also comes in a 60 mils and that is $128. It also has a smaller size, which is the 9 mils, and that is $37. That's for people to just want to try it out. That is a bit like a travel size. If you are at that stage in your life where you want your makeup to emphasize a more dewy skin look, a hydrated look, less on the colors, but more on your skin texture and the smoothness on, on your skin, 
I highly recommend this. And when your skin is looking really nice and smooth, you don't really need to use a lot of heavy eyeshadow. I mean, a lot of blusher and contours. All you need is just a little bit of color on your eyes, a little bit of blusher and a good lipstick. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so yet, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like my video today, please kindly give me the thumbs up. Otherwise, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.